Hello, I'm Theodore Parker, and this is the Side Show. And today is Tuesday, July 26, 2022. Still talking about masks. I think it's going to be a little while before we get back to the single digit numbers on the positivity rate across the country. Today, in this area, it's about 78 degrees. We got rain which is a little bit of a change from that heat wave with heat advisories in place that we've been experiencing for the past few days. We'll talk about that a little bit more later. It's been 30 days since, um, or approximately 30 days since the Supreme Court of the United States passed their decision regarding Roe v. Wade and put a ban on abortions. Um, this occurred maybe a couple of weeks ago where there were at least a dozen um, women from the House of Representatives that were present at a rally that was protesting that decision. I've been meaning to mention it sooner than now but I uh, just wanted to put that out there. Um, some of the names probably are already familiar with those, with to you if those representatives are from your home state. So those women got busy and showed up. Ukraine's President Vladimir Zelensky says his forces are advancing step by step into the occupied southern region of Kherson. This is one of those spaces that was taken on early um, once Russia invaded Ukraine. And now Ukraine is urging the citizens of that particular region to evacuate because they're about to engage. One of the reasons that um, Zelensky fired some of his top officials, I think it was about 60 of them, was because in these regions where Russia is occupying Ukrainian territory, the bridges that lead into the area should have been destroyed when they evacuated. And that was not done. So now steps are being taken to weaken that connection so supply lines that Russia is using will not be available. Tactical warfare, I would assume, presume. No more feebleness. Pelosi and showdown with Beijing over potential Taiwan visit. I was going to mention this anyway because uh, there are some similarities between the way China's acting toward Taiwan and the way um, Russia has been acting toward Ukraine. But um, Taiwan, as much as I can understand, has always been independent of China, Chinese, but not of China's philosophy. And Pelosi, I guess, for as long as she's been involved in politics, and China, dating all the way back to Tiananmen Square, I think that protest um, was about how many children Chinese families were allowed to have. <clears throat> Excuse me. Up until the present day this year, when um, investigations were launched um, about how they were treating those members of the Muslim community in their country, especially the women. So that led to some humanitarian rights investigations. So it all kind of boils down to that if Pelosi wants to go to Taiwan to meet with their leaders, it has nothing to do with China. And China should not really have anything to say about it. So there you have that one. <clears throat> Talking to you about the heat and the airports, especially the one in England, 
where they actually they stopped from flights from taking off and landing. Heathrow. Heathrow boss blames passengers with too much makeup for massive delays. <clears throat> I kind of had to double read that one. Too much makeup. I mean, I know there's restrictions on which you can bring on board and all this other kind of stuff. But anyway, passengers taking too many liquids on holiday. Airlines not hiring enough staff. And travelers pretending to be disabled, which kind of made me chuckle, are to blame for the chaos plaguing Heathrow, the airport's chief executive claimed on Tuesday, acknowledging the time difference. Back in this country, talking about heat again, Exclusive thousands of U.S. cattle buried and dumped at Kansas landfill. Top U.S. cattle feeding companies sent 1,000 pound carcasses to a Kansas landfill where they were flattened by loader machines and mixed with trash after a June heat wave killed thousands of cows. I think Kansas is the third largest, third largest cattle producing state in the United States. And uh, these couple of things here kind of reflect back to um, climate change and heat and all that kind of stuff. You know, here in this country, they've been experiencing um, earlier in the year, um, forest fires, wildfires, things of this nature. And might have a tendency to forget, but we could keep in mind that trees, grass, water, all contribute to our survival. In the process of exchange, we give off carbon dioxide and trees, grass, and water give us oxygen. So when you speak about climate and change with so many disasters going on related to the greenery and the vegetation, which is why you have so many designated national parks and trees along the highway and all this other kind of stuff and this type of thing is to try to keep that balance. So when you hear people talking about climate change, you know, dating all the way back to Al Gore's first introducing the idea to presently, it might behoove you to kind of pay attention and realize that it is a real thing. Dated for 2030, President, former President Obama had something to do with that. President Biden is following along. Other countries are chipping in. If you're going to be here, you're going to have to take care of it. Anyways, Tuesday, July 26, 2022. That's it. Hashtag.